Good, good afternoon. I was about to say good morning. Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here. Like so many Texans, I have lived the life where your day starts way before the sun rises. I was born the eighth child of migrant farm workers. I grew up between San Antonio and distant fields in the north. Sometimes, all my parents thought about was where the next job or the next meal was coming from. But we always had faith. Siempre teníamos fe. I know what it is to have to decide if food or rent will get the funds. I know what it is to have to decide if tuition or a decent place to live will make the cut this week. But I also know the joy of sharing the little that we have with others. I am blessed to have found the courage, the strength, and often the help from others that was needed to help me go beyond my humble beginnings. Educate to elevate was always the theme in my life. I've lived a life of hard work and service. El que no sirve la gente, no sirve para nada. I've been a migrant farm worker, a working college student, an army veteran, a federal agent, and the very proud sheriff of the good people of Dallas County. We've done so much together. We've helped build trust in the community. We've answered to the people. Y todavía hay muchas cosas que hacer. Good government is about finding solutions to real problems, not putting a spin on lies and creating fear. We're here to make people's lives better, not hurt them. Opportunity in Texas ought to be as big as this great state. But for far too long, hardworking Texans have been left behind, kept out, and frankly, attacked for who they are, where they come from, and who they love. Texans and businesses are begging for a return of common sense smart investments, and just plain sanity. Over the next year, I look forward to conversations with everyday Texans and some of their issues. We'll sit at the kitchen tables talking about making ends meet, putting their children to college, the future of health care, hope for retirement, and sadly, for too many, the fear of deportation. For the dreamers, if this isn't their country, they don't have a country. I've learned if we work together, even though we have differences, we can come out with good solutions. That's just common sense. That is, if we listen to each other, we listen to the worker, we listen to the farmer, the rancher, the teacher, the business owner, the doctor, the police officer, and everybody else in Texas that is involved. We can make changes. We can make these changes. So, I'm stepping up. Estoy obligada. For Texas, for everyone's fair shot to get ahead. I'm in. My name is Lupe Valdez. I'm a proud Texas Democrat, and I believe in common sense government. That's why I'm running for Texas governor. I've dedicated my life to defending Texas, and I'm not done yet. God bless Texas, and find something to be grateful for today. Thank you.
Go ahead, Tim. pension, you have a state pension, you could retire. Why is it that you really want to run for governor in what many consider to be an uphill battle for you? You know, Jack, I could just repeat what I've just said. This is about the common everyday Texan who needs to have a voice, and we're about to give them a voice. Claro que sí. Bueno, por los siguientes meses, eh, en uno, dos o tres meses, vamos a, a revoltar y, y, y luchar con todas las preguntas que vamos a tener. Pero ahorita el mensaje quiero que sea muy claro. Número uno, estoy en la posición para correr para el gobernador. Número dos, al fin el común tejano va a tener voz. Could you repeat that in English for us, please? Huh? Not at all. Not at all. It says that a couple of people have made a decision. But what I have found, when associations make decisions like that, it's not the response of everybody in the association. It's the response of the leaders. Next sure. question. Where are, where are, who's yelling? <laughs> yes, sir. Davis lost by 20 points when she ran. Mm -hmm. How hard is this going to be for you? And, and secondly, how much money do you think you need to raise to compete against Governor Abbott? Well, you know, I think we're going to raise whatever money is necessary. I don't believe that we need 40, 60, 90 gazillion dollars. I believe that it's going to take whatever's necessary and no more. Just like government, there's only a certain amount that should be spent of issues, and we don't need to continue to dump money into some things. Next question. So many uh, Democrats passed on, on making it, presumably because that they see it as a tough race. Where do you see getting the votes necessary to beat Governor Abbott in this race? You know, Texas is not a red state. It's a non-voting state. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We need to let the people know that we're here. And Texans, the common everyday Texans, need to hear our voice. And we need to hear their voice. Abbott may have the money, we're going to have the people. Yes. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I am still the, uh, fortunately, um, I am still the sheriff of Dallas County until, uh, I have resigned, I resigned this morning, and until an appropriate person that has good management takes over, I'm still there. I have a flight to catch, and you know what? They don't wait for anybody. So um, I'm going to have to stop and take a flight but more than anything, I want to thank the people that are here to support. So I'm going to take a few minutes, thank the people that are here to support, and then go on to catch my flight. There will be plenty of time in the next months to answer any question that you come up with. Thank you very much.